Today's video is sponsored by my new pack, get it while you can. Open your clip in the Fusion page. Add a merge tool, import your second clip, and connect it as a foreground. Add in a clips mask, adjust the size, increase the soft edge, and decrease the border width. Add a transform node, and place your clip in the middle of the eye. Select the merge node and change the apply mode to screen. Add a keyframe for the blend slider, set it to 1 in the frame you want the image to be still visible. Go one frame forward and set it to 0 to make the image disappear. This way the image is not visible after the blink. Select the merge node and add a spline mask, draw a mask around the eye, and add a bit of softness also. Adjust the mask to follow the blinking, and basically this is all you need to do. Add a new merge node, connect your image as a foreground, and the process is exactly the same like before, but you need to adjust the mask also when the eye is opening. Now I will waste your time, and explain the same thing over and over, to promote myself, because the real reason I'm making those videos is that I want to be a YouTube celebrity. When you finish the blinking, go back to the edit page. Add a zoom out and zoom in transition, to the beginning and the end of the blinking clip. Add a noise dissolve transition between your clips. Select the transition, make it 30 frames long, and open it in the fusion page. Change it to the version 4. For the type I will use the radial, but you can try out the others to find out what works best for you. Increase the softness slider. For some reason, you need to uncheck and check again the border box in order to see the sliders. Bring down the border softness slider. Adjust the softness slider to manage the thickness of the cut. Select the fast noise node inside of the transition group, and bring an invert node after. Now you can close down the transition group. Select one of your clips, and add a transform node after. Change the edges to mirror. Right click to the center value and select to modify it with shake. Go to the modifiers tab, bring down the smoothness slider, set the minimum to 0.46, and the maximum to 0.54. Back to the tools tab, modify the angle value with shake also. In the Modifiers tab, bring down the Smoothness slider, set the minimum to minus 2, and the maximum to 2. Duplicate the Transform node, and connect it after your second clip. Go to the Modifiers tab, and hit the Reseed button a couple of times for both of the modifiers. Select the Transition node, bring a Stop Motion node after, and your transition is ready. Add your clips to the timeline. Cut few frames from the end of your first clip. Duplicate this part and bring it on top of the current one. With the duplicate selected, open the color page. Go to the Magic Mask tab. If you are in the free version, you need to go to the Fusion page and mask out the subject manually, or you can finally invest some money and improve your workflow. If you are in the version 18 of DaVinci, change the mask mode to Person Mask. Activate the Toggle Mask Overlay, change the quality to better, because guess what? It's better. Draw a line in your subject and hit the Track Forward button. Once the AI daemon did the work for you, increase the blur radius somewhere around 5. Right click in the nodes window, and add an alpha, output. Connect the blue dot of your node to the alpha, and go back to the edit page. If you still like your computer and you don't want to blow it up, right click to your masked clip, and select to render it in place. Set the type to Apple ProRes 4444 in order to include the alpha channel also. Trim down the bottom clip, and bring the second one over, so that your masked clip is overlapping to the second one. Go to the Fusion Transitions, and bring a slide right transition, between your bottom clips. Select the transition, activate the motion blur box, and increase the quality and the shutter angle. Change the in and out to expo, or whatever you prefer. Bring a simple push transition, and add it to the end of your masked clip. Select the transition, and set the duration to 6 frames. Change the preset to push down, and increase the motion blur slider. Add a brightness flash transition to your clips. Right click in the transition and select open in fusion page. Double click in the transition node, delete the brightness node, and change the operation to addictive dissolve. Go to the modifiers tab, and change the in and out to expo. Close the transition window and add a merge node. Drag the output of the transition node and connect it also as a foreground to the merge node. Set the apply mode to screen and change the edge to duplicate. Right click in the center value and select modify with shake. Go to the modifiers tab, decrease the smoothness, increase the minimum slider and decrease the maximum to adjust the distance of the shake. Go back to the tool tab, right click in the size slider and select modify with shake. Go to the modifiers tab, 
decrease the smoothness and increase the minimum to 1 and the maximum to 2. Add a flicker addition node. Change the flicker type to gain. Increase the range and tweak around the speed and smoothness until you get a nice flicker. Add a glow node, make sure to select the second one. Decrease the shine threshold and the ratio and increase the brightness if it is needed. Add a drop warp transition between your clips. Right click on it and select to open it in the fusion page. Add a merge node after the transition. Bring a background node and connect it to the merge. Add an ellipse mask to the background node. Uncheck the solid box and increase the border width and the soft edges to your liking. Right click to the width slider and select expression. Drag the plus sign and connect it to the height slider. Right click to the height and select to modify with anim curves. Go to the modifiers tab, change the curve to easing and set the in and out to sign. Decrease the scale value to 1.5. Select the background node and change the color to white. Add a displace node. Bring a fast noise and connect it to the displace. Increase the detail slider to your liking and the scale slider all the way up. Select the displace node and increase the refraction strength a bit. If you want you can increase the seethe rate of the noise to add some animation. Add a glow node after the displace. Decrease the shine threshold. Play around with the spread value to find out what works best for you. Choose a color that you like and increase the gain slider. Go back and forth to the mask and the glow node and adjust the sliders until you've got something that you like. Bring an adjustment clip on top of your clips. Trim it down to 4 frames and place it to the end of the first clip. Add a camera shake effect to the adjustment clip. Play around with the camera shake sliders until you have some nice shake. Bring a flicker addition effect to the adjustment clip. Change the flicker type to gain and increase the range and speed sliders. Duplicate your second clip and trim it down to 16 frames. Right click on it and select to open it in the fusion page. Disconnect your clip, bring a background node in empty space, bring down the alpha slider and connect it to the out point. Add a multi-merge node after the background. Select your original clip and add a time stretcher node after. Bring a matte control node in empty space and connect the time stretcher to the yellow point of the matte control. Bring a polygon mask in empty space and draw around the part of your image that you want to keep. Connect the mask to the green point of the mat, select the mat control, and go to the inspector tab. Change the combine to combine alpha, and check the post multiply box. Add a transform node after, select the second transform so you have separated X and Y positions. Right click to the X position slider, and select to modify it with anim curves. Go to the modifiers tab, change the source to duration, set the curve to easing, and change the out to bounce. Check the invert box and set the scale slider to 1. Go back to the tools tab, under the settings menu, check the motion blur box and increase the quality slider. Connect this to the multi-merge. Duplicate the matte control and the transform node and bring these over. Connect the time stretcher node to this second matte control. Add another polygon mask and mask out the second part of your image. Connect it to the green point of the matte control, select the transform node, Double click to the X slider to reset it and modify the Y slider with anim curves. Once you've made this second animation, connect it to the multi merge node. From this point, it's just repeating over and over for every part you want to include. For this example, I'm going to use clips from my favorite Batman movie. Duplicate your second clip. Go in the first frame of it, right click and select Change Clip Speed. Check the Freeze Frame box and hit Change. Right click again and select change clip duration. Make it 12 frames long and hit change. Right click once again and select new fusion clip and go to the fusion page. Add a polygon mask, check the invert box and draw a mask around your subject. When you are done with the mask, uncheck the invert box. Add a transform node, right click in the center value and select modify with shake. Go to the modifiers tab, decrease the smoothness and play around with the random seed. From the effects library, under the edit template, go to effects and add a digital glitch. Experiment with the sliders to find a glitch that you like. Add a merge node, go and copy your media clip with the mask and place it over. Add a transform node and connect it to the merge node. With this second transform node selected, go in the last frame, add a keyframe for the center value, go in the first frame and move your image out of frame. Now you have your mask clean with a simple movement. Go back in the edit page, drag your fusion clip over the first clip. Duplicate the clip and open it in fusion page. 
Delete all the adjustment nodes and leave a clean mask image. Go back in the edit page, place it next to your other clip and trim it down. This way you have more control over the duration of the freeze frame. Go in the fusion transitions and add a camera shake. Try to keep it short and your effect is ready. Duplicate your second clip. Select to change the clip speed and check the freeze frame box. Go 12 frames back from the end of the first clip. Adjust the duration of the freeze frame to 12 frames also, make it a new fusion clip, and open it in the fusion page. Bring a polygon mask in empty space and drag a rough shape around your subject. Once your mask is done, connect it to your clip. Select your clip and bring a matte control node after. Change the combine mode to alpha, set the operation to subtract, and check the post multiply box. Bring a polygon mask in empty space and connect it to the green point of the matte control. Draw a shape around the first part and check the invert box. Make sure that you are in the third frame, add another polygon mask and change the paint mode to subtract. Draw a shape for your second cut. Activate the keyframe button for the level slider, go one frame backwards and set the level slider to zero. Go to the frame six, add another polygon mask, change the mode to subtract and draw a shape for your next cut. Activate the keyframe button for the level slider, one frame backwards and bring the level slider to zero. Repeat the same process for every cut that you want. Once you are done, select the matte control and add a merge node after. Bring a paper texture into your flow and connect it to the merge node as a foreground. Select the merge node, adjust the size to your liking, change the apply mode to screen and set the operator to in. Go to the settings tab and uncheck the alpha channel. Select your paper texture, add a brightness and contrast node after, and adjust the sliders to your liking. Once you are satisfied, go to the effects library, under the templates, edit, and bring the paper edge node after the merge node, and your transition is ready. If you are too lazy to spend time making transitions, you can buy my pack, save yourself some time, and make me a multi-millionaire.